Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the from entries object function in JavaScript. Uh, so basically, this function right here is relatively new and it allows you to convert an iterable of key and value pairs into a plain JavaScript object. So one of the uh, one of the more common use cases of this uh, of this function is to convert a JavaScript map into a plain JavaScript object. It is also not supported in Edge or Internet Explorer as of September 2019. So definitely take care uh, before planning to use this for your websites or web projects. Uh, but I actually think it's uh, quite useful for server-side scripts or applications uh, because it is actually supported in uh, the most recent versions of Node.js. So um, anyway, let's go inside the text editor right here and I'll show you how to actually use this function. So. Let's go down inside uh, the JavaScript right here and we're going to begin by creating a new instance of map. So I can say const uh, my map is equal to a new instance of map just like this. So now we can um, we can add some values uh, to this map and then convert it into a uh, into a plain JavaScript object by using this from entries function. So we're going to say my map dot set we're going to set a name to be something like Dom, for example, and we are going to make Dom 60 years old. So I can say set age and make him 60 years of age. So now I've got a pretty straightforward uh, JavaScript map, and now we can uh, successfully convert it into an object using this method. So I'm going to say down here const my object is equal to object dot from entries and pass in here my map. So here we can see I'm calling the from entries object, sorry, uh, from entries function on uh, the global object just like this and not on an instance or uh, just a regular JavaScript object. So definitely um, call it this way by using the global object just like this. And this function is going to take in an iterable. So in this case, a map is an iterable. It implements the iterable uh, protocol. So uh, it's going to work for this particular function. Okay. Um, I do actually have a video on uh, iterators and iterables and how they work. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But anyway, uh, this function is going to take in an iterable. So I also want to point out that the iterable that you pass in needs to uh, provide key value pairs on each iteration. So a map is perfect because its iterator is going to provide you with a key and value pair. Okay, so you can't use this on regular arrays that aren't multidimensional. I'll get into a bit more detail on that in a, uh, in, a in a few moments, but for now. We're going to see what this actually gave us. So I'm going to say console.log and pass in here my obj. I'm not going to save this and refresh the browser. And we can see uh, right here in the console, we get a plain JavaScript object containing the properties and values from the map. So we can see how it works. Um, and of course, how it can be uh, how it can be useful because um, a lot of um, a lot of uh, existing functions and method maybe in sorry uh, methods maybe in different libraries are going to take in objects rather than maps. So this can definitely be handy for something like that. So now I want to go into a bit more detail on what I meant um, by the actual key value pairs being returned from the iterator. So I'm going to go up here and basically just remove all of this uh, all of this code for the map. And instead, we're going to see how it's going to work on an array. So I'm going to make a new constant here called uh, my array equal to an array just like this. And um, it is important here, as I said, uh, for this array to contain key and value pairs. So we can say right here, for example, let's say this array is supposed to uh, represent URL parameters. So for example, I can say something like search and we can um, say for the value here dog. So uh, this URL param is, uh, is, is uh, called search and the value is dogs. Okay. We can also say, for example, page and we can say page number two. So here is an example of some key value pairs for a URL uh, parameter uh, string. Okay. So now we can pass this into my array. Sorry, uh, the objects from entries. Okay. 
I'm going to save this and refresh and since the array implements the iterator, sorry, our iterable protocol and it also is made up of key value pairs, it's going to work just fine. I'm going to save this and refresh and we can see right here we get search dogs and then page number two. So it's working fine, however, if I was to uh, attempt to pass in a single dimensional array, something like Dom, uh, Bob and Fred, for example, um, in this case it is not going to work because we don't have a key and value pair. So I'm now going to save this and refresh and we can see we actually get an error. It says iterator value DOM is not an entry object. So definitely make sure before using this function, um, the iterator provided by your iterable uh, uh, actually provides a key and value pair. And that is all uh, for this video on the from entries function. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.